Hi folks, welcome back to Gearing Tackle Travels. I'm your host, Aaron. On today's episode, we are going to be doing a little bit of a modification to our bed setups. As of right now, we only have about seven inches from the bottom of bed to floor. And my objective today is to bring that level up to about 16 inches or so. I'm going to be taking out my hinges and adding on a couple of legs, just one by four legs that are going to be screwed right onto the bracket. The brackets I'm using right now are just those shelf brackets that you can kind of screw to the wall and then pop the, uh, the shelf out. And I'm just going to be screwing those one by fours right to it and adding some legs. Just bringing that level up a little higher, that's going to allow me to store totes underneath the bed when the bed's pushed down. Also, we're gonna get a little higher off the ground. We're not gonna be so cold when we're sleeping on, on the beds while we're camping out on the ice, you know, while we're ice fishing on our trips. Another thing it's gonna do is, is it's gonna give us a nice seating arrangement. We're gonna be a little bit more comfortable while we're sitting and fishing these holes. So let's dive right in, get into it, and uh, bring these beds up, and uh, we'll go from there and see see what kind of difference it makes. We're gonna start by removing these hinges. We're just gonna take these self-tapping screws, which are screwed directly into the studs. You're gonna to wanna to find studs when you're mounting your beds because they, they have a tendency to, to kind of walk out. These trailers are under a ton of vibration while they're on the highways and stuff like that. So I just made it a kind of a rule to find studs when you're ever mounting anything onto the walls that you're going to be either laying on or sitting on. So let's go ahead and remove these. I've gone ahead and pre-cut some two by fours that I'm just placing up against the, the floor in the back of the wall. And uh, that's gonna allow me to put my beds right up on top, do the same thing with the front, uh, add two more as well. And that'll give me somewhat like a, a platform to work off of. But first things first is, I'm gonna find the center of my studs by just marking up. I know I hit studs there, so I'm pretty confident that I'll be able to find the studs on this one. So basically, we're gonna be taking this one by four and these uh, these brackets are they come with three pre-drilled holes, and I'm just going to take some pan screws and drill them right into the back side of that, uh, catching the one by four. I'm hoping that it doesn't just split the one by four in half, and if that's going to be the case, I'll have to use thicker material. The reason I'm using one by four is because once it's up against the wall and closed down. I won't have any issues of things sticking out, you know, if you want to bring a four wheeler in here or something like that. So hopefully I don't have to switch the game up. Anyway, let's get to drilling. Well, I definitely like, already I, I feel like it's, the, like the space got smaller. I'm just so used to having them so low to the ground, but I do like the height. One thing I did overlook here is my bunk bed. Typically, I like to leave that set up while we're fishing and stuff like that. It wasn't a problem when we were low, but uh, now that's going to cause a little bit of difficulty. But I got to take the good with the bad. You know, I'm going to be comfortable sitting here all day. Um, sometimes we're in here a few hours, you know, usually night fishing. We spend a lot of time outside of the trailer, but there are those times where we'll spend a lot of time inside the trailer fishing. But I think that's something I can... You know, I could probably live with that. It's not so sagged out when, you know, we got, I got a lot of gear up here just getting everything off the ground to, uh, to do the build. But I don't think it's going to be that big of a deal. You know, I could probably still fit in there and I'd be just fine fishing that hole as opposed to this one. It doesn't really matter. Okay, folks, so I'm having a little bit of an issue. 
the mechanism is not clipping out. It usually, once you pop it up, that usually pops out. I'm thinking it's either I have a little bit too much pressure on the bed frame itself and I needed to lower that or I need to lower the bracket. If you do run into that problem, usually it's either your bracket's not square or you know, you're pushing on something that you shouldn't be. I have lowered it already and I don't wanna lower it too much because it'll bring my bed up higher than the hinges itself. So I'm actually just gonna leave it as is, pop that into place with my finger when I have to do it. It's actually happening on both of them and I'm actually okay with it. I'm just gonna continue on, but those are things that aren't gonna run smoothly, perfectly. You know, that's just, that's just what we gotta deal with. It's just a matter of if you are finicky, you're gonna have to figure that out, whether you gotta bring your board down. But anyways, I'm gonna move on to the next set of beds. Um, raising the other side up, I'm not gonna go through all that. I'll just probably do a quick time-lapse and then we're gonna bring in some materials from outside and just uh, show you guys some some of the storage options that this gives me now. Well, that went smooth, other than all the blocks falling down while I was trying to get prepared. So let's see if this, uh, if I have the same problem. Okay, they fold down nicely. And they pop right up nicely. Except for this one. But I think it's a squaring issue. It has to be. There we have it. We got a cooler under the bed. We got a couple of totes that house all my, a whole bunch of gear of camping related items. Um, cast iron frying pans, spices, utensils, toasters, all sorts of stuff. It's stuff that I constantly had to dig through bins to get at and it was things that I, I constantly needed. So, you know, putting this outside underneath the trailer to have that extra bit of room in here when our beds are down, we couldn't really put it anywhere. It, it went outside. And along with this DeWalt case, this is full of like garbage bags, Ziploc bags, paper plates and stuff like that. Along with a, a little cap stove. So let's go ahead and drop the bed down. I'm super excited about this. The storage is definitely something we need. There, it doesn't rub on my shelf anymore. I just gotta put the pressure over, but that's perfect. And now if I need to access something, it's as simple as that. Get at what I need. Pots, pans, cast iron frying pans. And I just simply stow it away. It's perfect. I just recently installed this uh, cargo bag from my, my, my summertime camp kitchen. It's something I put away for the, for the winter months. And I figured this would be a perfect little cargo bag for all my go-to items first thing in the morning, such as coffee and stuff. You know, digging through totes and, you know, just can't find this you know, your, your large spoon or whatever. It's a spork that I use to stir the big coffees. You know, to find that in a tote is just like, first thing in the morning, what are we doing here? I can't stand digging through totes, so it's it's nice to have everything organized and, you know, to get out your percolator, your coffee and your coffee cream. Your beans, 
you know, your coffee beans, you want a coffee grinder to get at, you know, everything's right there and it's nice and organized. I like having organized, especially first thing in the morning when you're ready to wake up and go fishing. You know, those one cupper Tim Horton Cafe Mochas, along with uh, the Nessie's one cuppers. It's good to have, it's good to be organized. Espressos, all sorts of stuff. I'll go ahead and set up the bed. And uh, I've slept on this before and it's terribly uncomfortable, but I'll get the bed all set up and then we'll, uh, we'll see how we're sitting. Well, there we have it. A little foam mattress. It's one of those fold down beds, like it folds down like that. It's just a mattress from that. But I mean, it's a lot more comfortable than that stuff. But it's nice and high off the bed, off the, off the ground now. Once I got the space heater going, it's gonna heat up awesome in here. Usually you wake up and your back's pretty cold when you're sleeping on the ice. Uh, no matter what temperature it is, it's just, it's cold under there. So now with that little bit of space, I think I'll be a lot better off. But anyway, that about wraps it up for me. Thanks for tuning in to Gear and Tackle Travels. Uh, it's greatly appreciated. Like, subscribe if this video helps you. Uh, feel free to check out some of the rest of the videos that I'm putting out. Um, doing modifications all the time. I got a couple more plans to uh, to do a few more mods before the ice fishing season hits. It's quickly approaching. It's getting getting cold out and there's snow flying. So the ice is icing up and uh, I'm getting ready for some comfortable ice fishing out of the camping out of the cargo trailer camper conversion anyways thanks for tuning in greatly appreciated i'll see you guys on the lake